Hi everybody, my name is TJ Wolf and I do Linux, OS's and hardware. So today we're looking at Solus and I got a few things opened here for you guys and my system so it tells you <clears throat> the bug report site the support URL and the home page URL right here including the date of the ISO and stuff and the code name <clears throat> Hannon so and I'm running this on 16 gigabytes of RAM and I'm using an Intel i7 2600K CPU 3.4 gigahertz um, it's a second generation CPU not the latest but it gets me by so let's um today I'm going to be showing you guys how to change the um brisk menu icon up here at the corner here so the icons that I'm using are called El Capa El Capitan supposed to be um Mac icons but um I don't think um a lot of them are really Mac related so but um they're they're nice icons I um really liking them so anyway once you find your um icon set what you uh, want to do is go to Google and search for your icon, whichever icon you want, choose. You can see there's more up here and stuff you can choose from. But um, I'm going to stick with this one right here. So let's um, save this image in pictures and we're going to save it as is so once you got your um, image saved and everything what you want to do is make sure you have these two programs installed um and I'm pretty sure this way will work with any mate distribution. It should at least. Of course, I'm running Solus, so. <clears throat> but um, what you want to do is make sure you have GIMP installed. And I already have that installed. And you want to make sure you guys have Inkscape. installed I already have that X installed as well because the image has to be in SFG format so you need Inkscape and there's probably a way just to use Inkscape alone but I find it easier to um, manage the image in GIMP first and convert it in Inkscape so Whichever way is best works for you, um, that's good. So, moving on now, once you got those two programs installed, what you want to do is open up GIMP. So, we're going to open up GIMP and now we're just going to find the image that we um, downloaded from Google and this is the image you can see it's 
pretty big. So what we want to do now is scale it. I find it best to um, scale it to 24 so pixels because that's what I have this one at is 24 and it looks about a decent size so let's see what that looks like and you can see it's sort of small but that's okay so once you got it down to the size and I'm not sure how big you guys can have it you guys can mess around with the sizing and everything but right now I'm just putting it at 24 pixels so now once you guys have that done what you guys want to do is export it as and we're just gonna name it as a different name as testing and then now what you guys going to want to do is export it and we're good to go now you guys can close out GAMP now we're gonna go open the file manager and see if we can find that image where we put it and it's right no that's not right here here's the um and we're gonna open it up with Inkscape it already opened it once I clicked on it so we're gonna click OK and let's see what happened here we wanna open open with Inkscape hmm okay so I guess that didn't work so well so what we're gonna do is open up okay yeah that's what I did I think I did it just with so what we want to do is open it up with Inkscape first so we're just gonna open up the regular image for some reason I didn't see it so now what we want to do is go to scale and we're just gonna hit 24 24 and we're going to hit oh wait we're going to hit apply and you can see it's at the size that we want it so now once we got that done we're going to save it as and I want to make sure we get the right name so this is the name that you guys want right here and copy let's make sure we make this change this so let's go back here change the name we want it to be this name right here start slash here slash symbolic dot sfg and then we're gonna hit save 
we're gonna close that out and we should have it here so once you go back it's right here and you can see it right there it's at 24 pixels so now what we're going to want to do is open up another open up the mate terminal and sorry guys if it's hard to see but I'm not going to mess with the font right now so if you guys can't see it um well let me see if I can fix it for you guys profiles no that's not it terminal profile preferences let's see if we can change the font um underline we want underline um here we go custom font if it has Ubuntu okay I got Ubuntu right here so condensed bold let's try that um and we want to go up more okay so we got the font bigger so hopefully you guys can see that so once that's open you guys want to do sudo Kaja and then password and then you guys want to go to file system user share and then icons and then you want to go to where your um icon set is which is my Mine is El Capitan. So what you want to go there. And then you want to find. Wherever location. The symbolic icon. Is usually. You have to might have to search. Which folder. It is actually in. But mine is, is in the actions folder. So. If you're lucky, the icons that you guys are using are in actions. Um, so we're going to go to symbolic and then... We're gonna go down to the icon that we already have. So we're gonna rename this to dot old. And you can see I already made a backup of the original one. So we're just going to Now is what we want to do is find this one that we have and copy it and we're just going to paste it in the regular play. So now once you guys are all done with that we can close everything out because we are all done with that and now you guys will have to log out and log back in for the changes to take effect and So that is, I will be right 
back. I'll be right back with the um, other half of the video to show you guys that it changed. So I'll be right back. Hi everybody, I am back logged in and you can see the icon I have looks like the um changed like the picture so what are we gonna do so I, I can show you it better right here you can see it changed and I put it a little up to 28 pixels and 28 28 by 28 pixels so <clears throat> If you look here, it's by um, scale, well, it says 100 and 100, but yeah, 28 right here. And I forgot to mention, make sure it's on pixels, PX. Because it'll start off like that. I forgot. I think that's what I forgot to do the first time. I had to readjust it. Because I think I forgot to tell you guys to put it on PX. So I apologize. So it has to be on pixels. So and make sure you click on your image when you're sizing it too. Sometimes I forget to do that and you can see it's on 28 pixels and 28 and that's a good size for me. I think I like that size so um, you can see it's working so I just wanted to show you guys that it's from logging out and logging back in that it works so Thank you guys very much for watching this video and stay tuned for the next one of this series. I think I'm going to do a series of solace so stay tuned and please rate, comment, and subscribe and hit that big thumbs up button for me and Please subscribe if you guys aren't subscribed. And if you guys have any questions, please PM me or leave a comment below in the show notes. And I will get back to you. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I will see you guys next, next time. So, bye now.